Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Hope everybody's having a great, a great Saturday. Beautiful day out today. Hope everybody, hope, hope, hope everyone's enjoying themselves. Uh, I know the kids, I think they're pretty much out of school already, or about to be out of school. You know, they can't wait. But, uh, man, just, just glad to be in the number, right? Again, thank you, thank you to the subscribers who subscribe to the channel. So really appreciate you guys. Thank you, for, thank you for the viewers who are watching the channel. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for the uh, for, for, thank you. If you, if you if you if you like the channel, please subscribe. Have people have your friends subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Share it with your friends and hit the bell. Right. So hit the notification. So when we do upload, you guys will see it first and seeing that you know Dougie has uploaded another another um, video. And you know it's gonna be a great video. It's gonna be great content. Right. We're talking some real stuff. Talk. Right. Again, um, if you wanna wanna if you wanna reach out to me, hit me at um, Glow Power CMD seventy two at gmail.com. That's glowpowercmd72 at gmail.com. If you want to reach out to me for uh, lessons, whatever you need, lessons, have trouble with your juveniles, come holler at me, whatever, we'll take care of that. Uh, if you have trouble with your adults, <laughs> hit me off at glowpowercmd72 at gmail.com. You know, got all these kids 20, 21 years old who really don't know what they want to do yet. They need some direction. That's all it is, pretty much direction, right? So you give me, give them. Give them a child direction. Give them a young man, a young young woman direction, right? So, I see that the, the, the main I see is going back to kids or young people in their 20s and 2022 still having have self-esteem issues, right? They're, they're, they're afraid to talk to someone. They're afraid to they're, they're afraid to say something they don't think they might might like them, whatever, right? But that starts when they're young, right? So if a child's having trouble on the playground, child's having trouble in school, child's thinking to themselves, you got to, the key thing is getting them being confident in themselves, right? It's all about being confident in teaching, right? And letting them know they're, gonna, they're great. They're going to be great. You only be good at anything you got to practice. Whether it's baseball, softball, basketball, football, whatever track, whatever you do, you have to be great at it. You have to practice it to be great. So you just don't be great just by sitting around playing PlayStation or whatever you guys are doing. Have to go at it. You have to get. You have to get on it. On it, right? Practicing. If you want, want to be a great basketball player, you have to throw 500 jumpers a day, right? If you want to be great, you want to be a great football player. You gotta, be, you gotta, you gotta get in the gym. You gotta get in the weight. Gotta get in the weight. Gotta get running. Gotta get your running. Gotta get your 40 yard dash down time, right? All that comes to play being confident in yourself, right? We have to be confident in ourselves and what we do. If you're not confident in yourself, you won't be successful because you're gonna hesitate. You're gonna be thinking about what you do. So I always say, pray with the old saying, the old cliche. Practice make perfect, and that's so true. We know in order to be great, we gotta practice, right? We gotta be able to so so we can have what? Muscle memory. Muscle memory is so important. Cause once you keep doing it over and over again, you're gonna be be be, be good at it. I never understood why first we would do walkthroughs in practice, right? Oh, we got walkthroughs, got walkthroughs. Like what? What are we doing walkthroughs with? And you get oh yeah, oh walk. So you be so used to doing stepping with right foot, stepping with the left foot, doing what you gotta do, and it, it'll come at you second nature because you're doing it over and over and over. Muscle memory. That is so important in sports, so important in life, right? Muscle memory. Right? Put that in your toolbox. The more and more you do it, the more and more you practice it, the better you're going to get, right? That's why you keep doing it. So you do all the drills over and over and over again. It has to be second nature. But once you hesitate on something, that's when you lose. So this is why we do things, do the drills over and over and over again. Now, muscle memory, so come at you second nature, so come at you second nature, so you ain't got to think about it. But once you got to think about something, then that's, 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 that's when the other opponent on the beach, right? So everything has to be second nature, muscle memory, and you do it over and over and over again, you'll be great, right? But but you gotta be confident in yourself. Because I know I've been here shooting these jumpers, 500 jumpers a day. I know I've been dribbling the ball with my left hand, dribbling the ball with my right hand. I've been throwing the ball with my right hand, I'm throwing my left, I've been blocking with my left, blocking with my right. I've been doing my jumps, and I go ahead and do it, I'll be confident in myself, I'm gonna be successful. But once you get in your head that you're not confident, it's gonna be a long road. That's why you get confidence. Everything's confidence. Everything is self-esteem. So get that negativity out of your brain that you can't be great. You can be great. But it's up on you to believe in yourself. We believe in you. I believe in you. But you have to believe in yourself. All right? We've been, we already started the workout already. Uh, we, we, we've been doing for some swing. We've been doing, we've been doing close grips, triceps. Keep, keep the triceps on. Keep the triceps thick. Right? We did a little cardio earlier, right? We made sure we had our, our we, had, we already had our beats already. We had our beets, we had our kale, we had our blueberries, we had our peanut butter, we had our protein powder, we had our bananas, right? 
We had our diet cranberry juice mixed with water. Put in our blood, though. We drank, that's what we drank this morning. Drank another one, right? So, we double so the blood vessels are moving, the blood vessels are open. So, that blood flow, we get that blood flowing, right? Shout out to the angels. What's up, angels? Same D, stand up, same D. Whenever you go somewhere, you have to believe that you are the baddest guy in the room, overall in the room, right? Because why? You have prepared yourself. You worked on your craft, or even going for a test. If you know that you studied, read, prepared yourself, you know you're gonna do great on the test. But if you haven't prepared, you take care of your business, that's when doubt comes in. Because you know, you haven't prepared. You never, you might have a little nerves, right? Once you know, once you get into it, you'll be fine, because you have prepared yourself for this. So we're not gonna get anywhere without preparing ourselves. We're not gonna get anywhere but not have, have, but having low self-esteem. We have to have self-esteem to the highest. You have to believe that you are the best one that goes into that classroom. You have to believe that you're the best one to step on that court, on that field, whether it's football, basketball, whatever you're playing, softball, whatever you're playing. You have to believe that you're the best. Whether you're running track, you know that you have prepared yourself. Whether from starts, whether you're running your hundreds, your two hundreds, your quarters, you know that you have prepared yourself condition-wise, then you're gonna be great. It's all about, it's all about winning. How bad do you want it? We always ask that, we always ask that, right? How bad do you want it? You have to want it, you have, you have to put the work in. It's not gonna come to you. You have to go get it. So we can't sit back and feel sorry for ourselves why things are not happening for us. If you put the work in, somebody's gonna notice you. The hard work, the hard dedication, right? Going for the loose balls, right? Doing the extra stuff the coaches like. So, but that's talk. People teach you about, hey, the coaches like this, coaches like this, coaches like hustle, right? Coaches like you rebound, coaches like you, you doing extra, extra, extra wind sprints. They like that kind of stuff. They see, oh, effort, right? That person wants it. It has to be in you. You can't be afraid to want to be great. You have to want to be great. Because it comes with being doing things over and over and over again. So we can get that muscle memory, right? Once we get that muscle memory, once you get that confidence in yourself, knowing that you're prepared for this, you're gonna be great. But it starts when we're young. It starts when we're 10, 11 years old on the playgrounds and, and at school, right? That's where it starts at. It starts at the playground. When we're younger, after playing with the kids. But you gotta believe that you can be great. You gotta believe this is what you wanna do. So don't shy away from stuff. Go get it. Go be great. Don't shy away from contact. Go be great. Get the ball, shoot it. Everybody else can shoot the ball, you can shoot the ball too. Shoot it, but be confident in yourself. That you put the work in. Go in the backyard and dribble the ball. Go get a hoop in the backyard, go hoop in the front and just shoot, shoot your free throws. Shoot your jumpers, develop your jumper. Technique, technique, technique. But everything is preparation. You can't be afraid to fail. We're, going, cause we're not going to be perfect on anything. But, but you know what? When we know we fail, we're going to come back and say, well, I, I did that wrong. I'm going to do it right this time. I'm going to prepare even more. Right? That's what it's all about. Preparing, guys. Being a believing in ourselves. We have to believe in ourselves. If, if, if no one else believes in us, we believe in ourselves. Right? That's what it's all about. If no one else believes in us, we believe in ourselves. That's what it's all about, guys. Self-esteem is everything. When I walk into a room, I believe I'm the baddest man in the room. Might not be, but I believe that. I believe that I prepared. I worked out. I did my cardio. I did what I was supposed to do. I have prepared myself. 
to be the baddest man in the room. You can't be afraid to be great. You can't be afraid to fail. If you fail, pick yourself back up and go get them. Go back and get them. We don't quit. We go back and get them. Uh, number one sets in. Close grips. What's up, Kenny Brunson? What's up, Kenny? What's up, my brother? CMD, stand up, CMD. Shout out to the Angels. Bobby Hoffman. What's up, Bobby? Do triceps, triceps what keeps our bench strong. Without strong strides, without without strong triceps, we don't have a big bench. You will have a weak bench. Not how big your chest is, how big is how strong your triceps are. That's why we do the heavy triceps. That's why we do the close grips. Close grips, we're gonna triceps. Get that work in the back. that working back there. Keep them strong. Right, keep them thick. And right? power. So you get that punch. Right. Keep them off your body. Muscle memory. Because I did football drills all my life so much. My first, my first thing is my come up on me. Get them off my body. Get them off my body. Now I can work through what I gotta do. Now I can think my brain can work now, right? Never know somebody come up on your body. My thing is my punch. Boom! Get them off my body. Then I can be set to what I gotta do. Right? Never let anybody in that space, right? Never let anybody up on your space. Be able to crack your grill, right? We get them all punch. So we know with the bench press, close grips, power, they're gonna fly. That punch, boom. They're gonna move back. You're gonna be set. Let's get it. Okay? That's why we do triceps, right? That's why we do the power. That's why we do the weights. Weights are also help us that blood flow, right? We have to keep the blood flowing. We talked about Deion Sanders yesterday with his uh, with his foot, right? Deion has problem with Deion has blood flow problem in his foot. That's why his foot is problem. But he got the toes cut off, right? That's why it's so important to keep them beats. I hope Deion is still eating them beats. I saw one says he gave him a chew. And that has to be constant. It has to be constant. That blood flow, blood flow, blood flow. He has no feeling in the bottom of his foot. There is no blood flow going. That's why he's not feeling. So he better, they better figure, figure something out. Otherwise, they'd be taking that piece. Right? So again, guys, we got to make sure we stay on top of this, right? With, our blood, with, the, with, the, with the beats, with the nitrates, right? Because nitrates do what? Turn in the nitric oxide. That is so important. Why do you think I've got this? Got this? Well, it's flowing. I've got the sweat flowing the whole nine. I already had it in my system already. When I drank it earlier, right? Then drink another one. So it opens up my blood vessels. So the blood can flow the way it's supposed to flow in my body. To my brain. To my eyes. To my heart. To my kidneys. To my liver. To my lower region, right? So important. And that's what Deion's missing. That blood flow. That's why he's got the circulation problem. That circulation. That blood has to flow. And then if the blood ain't flowing, it's gonna be a problem. So again, young people, you have to be confident in yourself. You have to be confident in your ability. It starts when they're young. It don't start when they're 20 years old. It starts when they're young. We have to start that when they're young. Build confidence in them. Let them know you are the best. You are the prettiest. I can tell my daughter. She is my daughter. She's the prettiest. You always tell your daughter, they're gorgeous. So the other man can come along there and do some doing not. Let the encourage your sons, encourage your daughters. They are the beautiful, they are the prettiest, and they are the prettiest. So they ain't gotta worry about people telling them stuff and they believe no. You've been told them by your father your whole life that you're beautiful and you are beautiful. So no other man has to come and tell you that. You know it already. Everything is self-esteem. It starts when they're little. Self esteem, don't wait till you start 20, 20 by that. It's too late, man. You gotta sit there and try to tell someone, hey, do this, man. You okay? You talk to that person. You go in that room and present this, right? Don't go around taking hard jobs because you don't want to deal with someone because you have to figure out to talk to someone. That makes no sense. We have to work smart. We don't work harder. We work smarter. 
Just because you're a big guy don't mean that you got to lift all the heavy boxes around, right? We have to be smart. You ain't going to do material tear your back up, tear your body up. Be smart. This is why we go to school, right? This is why we go to school, get them grades, and become things, different things, so we ain't work hard like that. When you have to work hard like that, that's something different. But if you have the opportunity to go to school and be great, the way you can go ahead and share your knowledge with the world, that's what you do. Again, this is what John Morant and, 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 and Zion Williams should be doing. Working on the truck somewhere. Unloading trucks. They can see the hard work. You can see how good they got it. They don't know how good they have it. They're trying to mess up an opportunity. See what happens a lot of times when you got these gifts, right? Gotta give you these gifts. How are you gonna handle those gifts? How are you gonna handle these gifts? God gave you, give you the gifts. How do you handle them? Do you blow it? Do you blow all the money, all the money, blow it all the, for all the bitches? Right? They mess around being as poor as Job's turkey. We know Job's turkey was poor. He only had one feather. So we know that you have to be take care, get your, them guys have to get themselves together. You need to sit down and, and, and just, just, just evaluate, evaluate their lives and see what's going on. What am I doing wrong? Why am I trying to prove all this to people? Right? Why am I showing out? You don't have to be that way, guys. You guys are already great athletes. But you're still looking for attention. You're still reaching out for attention. You're screaming. Screaming for attention. Don't know why. Only you know the reason why. Zion, John Moran, why you guys are screaming for attention. You have to ask yourself, be truthful with yourself. Why you are doing this. It can't be complicated. You're used to playing on the, on the bigger stages, right? So you see, you see, the, you play in front of the biggest crowds. So what is going on that you have to do this to do these to do this bad behavior, right? This joke joke about walk around with a gun in his waist. Other guy don't know who don't don't know how to uh, behave yourself around women, right? Don't, don't like he never had women before, or whatever. He don't he don't he don't know how to behave yourself. Get it together. Listen. Be humble. Them two young men are not humble. That's the problem. They're not listening to someone. We know some people are talking to them. Everybody want to be their friend, right? You can't be their friend. Somebody will have to be the one to say, know what? You're wrong. Cuss them out. Hey, you're doing it wrong. So afterwards, you don't be my friend? You don't be my friend. Well, that's, that's cool, too. Somebody has to tell them. Someone can't be the guy I always want to be, always will just take, take, take all the time. Sometimes, you know, mom, dad, somebody going to say something to them. So I guess these guys don't respect no one. They don't, they don't, they don't respect anyone because they're not listening to anyone. Not listening to the coach. Not listening to the president of the team. Right? What we doing here? They have to be humble. Go let them go. Go let them go. Let them work on them boxes, them them different stores, right? On them on them on them trucks. So they go go unload them big old trucks. Those eighteen wheelers, what we call them trucks. Go unload them. Yeah, go unload them trucks for twenty five games. The games you spend, which car? You should be working in one of them places, not getting paid. Just showing. Yeah, get paid. Let them see the see the, um, the little bit of money they get. All the hard work they're doing. Working harder than what you're doing playing basketball. Basketball would be fun. That would be something you love, right? Get together, guys. You mess around one time, it's going to be gone. And you're going to wish you had it. Problem is that they believe you have too many people kissing you behind. Taking care of too many people and they all want to kiss your butt because you've been giving them money. But the flow, money been flowing. And that's the problem. They're scared that you're going to cut the money off. This is why they're doing This is why they're letting you do what you want to do. If they truly loved you. If they truly loved you, they would tell you what's wrong. Get together, guys. You might mess up a big opportunity between all them different endorsements you have. About to blow it. We got another. We got one more set here. Uh, just again, man. Uh, to the young, to the young people, man. It's all about working on your self-esteem, man. Working on yourself, believing in yourself, right? Going out, getting it done. Going out, getting extra reps and extra practice time. Whatever you like to do, whether it's basketball, football, soccer, whatever you, whatever you like to do. Go out, go out, put that extra work in. Gotta put the extra work in to be great. So when everybody, so when everybody else is playing PlayStation, you over there, you out there on that track running, you in the weight room training, you are doing stuff extra to make yourself great, to give you that, to make it help you be positive when you do have to perform. So all about self esteem. You gotta think you're the best thing on the court. You gotta believe that you, you gotta, you gotta believe that you're the best one on the court, best one on the field. Whatever you do in life, you gotta believe you're the best. Whether you're a teacher, whether you're a doctor, you gotta believe that you're the best because you put that work in. Right? That's what it's all about. Again, 
I believe I'm the best. Whenever I go somewhere, I believe I'm the best. Might not be, but you can't tell me I'm not. You can't come at me sideways. You can't check me, because I'm gonna check you back, right? It's all about being confident in yourself, being confident in your ability that you are the best. Put the work in, believe in yourself. You can be the best on the playground. You take some shots too. Don't let that same person be done. You go get the ball, you take some shots too. You go get that rebound. You go get it. Can't be afraid. You go get the rebound. Put it back up yourself. I ain't getting past you the ball? Fine. I'm going to get that rebound myself and put it back up. Yeah, I'll get my points that way. Let's get it. Thank you for coming out to the channel, guys. Thank you for watching the channel. So appreciate everyone who have subscribed. Let's get some more subscribers in. Like I said, we're always going to be talking positive content here, guys. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family members. Again, it's all about being great, right? It's all about being confident in ourselves. Being confident in our ability and what we do. We got to be great. We have to believe in ourselves. If we don't believe in ourselves, we will never be great. All about being confident. Self-esteem is so important in life. It's so important. But when you do have that, have that confidence, it's a thin line between cocky, right? You don't want to be too cocky to where you can't humble, right? But at the same time, you gotta be confident in yourself, guys. You gotta be able to know that fine line to, to go over. So we gotta be humble. Because we know we do have the ability, right? I always say, to be the best one in the crowd, you don't have to be the loudest. Feel me? To be the baddest one in the crowd, you don't have to be the loudest. People will know when you walk in the building. They will know you have that swag. They will know you that do. Believe me, they will know it. So again, to be the baddest one in the crowd, you don't have to be the loudest. You feel me? Shout out to Angels, Marky Mark, Brother Timmy, Brother Noah, Sister V, Sister Alexandria, Brother Donnie, Brother Jazir, Brother Cairo, Brother Ethan, Nephew Sean, what's up, Nephew Sean, Marcy, Pat, Renee, Lorenzo, Elijah, Corey, and, and Brother Quadri. For those who don't know, of the, for the first timers, these are our angels. We, we shout out angels and angels' parents. Angels are our artistic children that we, that we are going to shout out every time we come on the channel. But they are worthy to be praised. We truly believe that, right? Again, thank you for all the subscribers. All of the Kenny Brunsons, the, the Tom Stasels, the Barry Rileys, right? The Bobby Hoffmans, all you guys, man. Truly appreciate you guys. Winky, AJ, thank you guys, man, for being consistently watching the channel. Sister Major, thank you for consistently watching the channel, guys, and giving me feedback. Thank you. Thank you for my to my grandson for giving me feedback and telling me about different stuff I never knew about the YouTube, right? So I truly appreciate you. Truly appreciate you, uh, Sage. You guys, and we'll be talking uh, on FaceTime, right? I love them. I love doing that, man, because you know why? Because you, time is moving on. And you have to get to know your family, right? That's what's all so important, right? Again, you don't have to be the, you don't have to be the loudest one in the crowd to be the best. You feel me? You're not a guy walking in, oh, hey, hey, I'm, I'm the bad. No, no, no. Sometimes you're the weakest. But you're doing that to have people think that you are. Sit back and be quiet, sit and watch it'll come to you okay again thank you love you guys i mean i appreciate you guys man for always being here man like i said uh brother garrett what's up brother garrett if we get one person we, one we have talked one person something today we've done a great job we're doing our thing right we're doing what we're supposed to do spreading the love and spreading the word love peace and respect right it's all about love peace and respect that's what it's all about man we want peace 
one will go somewhere where it's peaceful. It's all about love. It's all about respect. It's all about caring. Right? Thank you guys. Talk to you guys later. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. And, hey, remember, self-esteem teaching starts from the little. We don't wait till they get 15, 20 years old to do it. It starts from the younger, right? Let them know they are the best. Putting them out there, getting up 15, get, getting up 100 shots a day. If that's what they want to do. If they want to be great, that's, that's, that's what they want to do. Got to put the time in. And they're going to come to you. How about you just sitting around watching play PlayStation or being on them tablets? It don't come like that. Old school hard work. This is all about it. It never stops. It never fails. Old school hard work never fails, man. That same, that's that same uh, recipe, right? Hard work. Hard work. Putting the work in. Got to put the work in. Got to put the time in. Beating everybody else up. When everyone else is sleeping, used to you up training. That's how you beat everyone. That's how you become great. When everyone else is sleeping, you're training. Putting that extra work in. Putting that time in. That's what it's all about. Then that's how you get your confidence. Knowing that you put that work in. Knowing that you've been in the gym at 6 in the morning. When practice starts at 9, but you're in the gym at 6 already. Doing extra work. So you can be great, right? So you can have that mama mentality, right? That's what it's all about. That's how them guys become great. That's how the Michaels and Kobe's become great. They put the extra work in. Let's see how Kyrie's handle so tough, right? You can put it on the strain. Put that work in. You don't get that stuff overnight. Right? That stuff comes with putting the work in. This is why these female, uh, this is why the lady basketball players are so great now, right? They just, man, they putting that stuff, they putting, put, put, putting work in. They putting the work in. That's what it's all about, man. That's how you get confident. Can't be afraid. You can't let fear stop you from being great. Don't let self, don't let low self-esteem stop you from being great. That's what happens, man. That's why these guys sit back and just gonna sit back. And, it's just shyness, stuff like that. Weakness. That's what it is. It's a weakness. Shy, being shy and cute. Being shy is a weakness. That's what it is. And once someone knows that you have a weakness, they're going to they're gonna dig in you. Shyness is a weakness. You have a fear of, of, of talking to people. A fear of being around people. A fear of being assertive. We can't have fears of that. You got to go do it. got to go get it. We're going to make it in life. Can't sit back and just think of the company. No, you gotta go get it. Go run to it. Run. You hit it straight on. No zigzags. No jukes. Hit it straight on. It's all about. Can't sit there and let our fear of being shy stop you from being great. Stop you from doing what you gotta do in life. Stop you from earning money, right? If you can be great, if you can do it, do it, you have a skill, but you're afraid to be out there, afraid to assert yourself, what are we doing here? So you went to school for nothing. Put all that work in, all that studying, and, you, and you, you're afraid to be assertive, afraid to you get that fear. That's a weakness. There ain't nothing but the devil telling you that you can't do it. That's all it is. But you gotta believe you can do it. You gotta believe that you're the best at what you do. You gotta believe that you're the smartest guy in the room. You have to believe that you're the smartest woman in the room. What's up, Grace? How you doing, mama? You gotta believe that you're the smartest one in the room. You don't have to be the loudest person that's gonna be the be the baddest in the room. I always go by that. No, I'm not the loud person. But you gotta believe you. You gotta believe that you're the baddest one in the room. That's why you sitting out here on a Saturday, putting the work in, while everybody else is doing what? BSing. Gotta put the work in, man. Right? I'm gonna be great, right? I want to keep off my body. Right? That power. Right? That, that first hit. Boom! They're flying. Now I'm going to get myself together. Right? Again, one love. Love you guys, man. I truly appreciate you guys for being here on the channel with me, man. That's listening to me, man. And we're talking about real stuff in here. Right? Again, for those for, for the fathers tomorrow, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Hey, man, for, man, being great. Keep on being great fathers to your, kill, to your children. Keep being great fathers. We did, we did, we did, they need it. Great fathers are needed. You be that great father. You be that father in, the, in your in your children's life. No matter if you are with mama or not with mama. You still be that great father. You still put to working with them. Still teaching them. Loving them. Letting your daughter know that she is the prettiest woman in the world. Prettiest girl in the world. They need to know that. Okay? One love. Peace.